We are going to join the world of fermenting pig food. Fermenting. Fermenting pig food. So, our new friend Denise, the snake doctor. Snake doctor. That's her farm. Okay. Told me that she ferments her pig food. So she gave me... One second. Snake doctor? That's the name of her, her farm. Has she seen her snake videos? Oh, I don't know. I think her name has to do with that snake doctor is another name for a dragonfly. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna put our pig food. We're gonna do five scoops. There's five scoops left. Uh-oh. You're out of pig food? You're showing a pig food video with no pig food? I have another bag. One. Should we get Jed out here to help you count? Okay. Yeah, the they are pretty fat pigs. The guy at Farmers said this he would recommend till they're a year old. But I stressed to him they're cooney coonies. I'm gonna breed them. I'm not gonna eat them. But he said this is what they needed. Twenty percent, and it's too much for coonies. I don't need that much. Okay. Like sixteen percent. What did the snake handler tell you? Uh, her paperwork I think said sixteen too. That first peda peed. Peda. That first Peter pig, told you to do what with your pig? Pig feed I had them on was was sixteen. Okay. So I just need to go back to what I was already doing. So Peter didn't tell you to do anything. So we're gonna get our last scoop from the new bag, and then since you're the muscles, do of the I operation, annoy you? Huh? Do I annoy you? Yes. <laughs> you are the muscles of the operation. I thought the brain. Is that why you keep me around? Definitely the mouth of the operation. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you re refill this. This video can't be too long. I know it can't be. Because I, may, I may accidentally short. Yeah, it's a bad time to say, hey, come record me. You just started your bowel prep for the colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're going to give the uh, gamma seal lid from Tractor Supply a go. It uh, turns any five-gallon bucket into a food storage container. Make sure you're doing food grade bucket. Okay. Um, this is a food grade bucket. Okay. But we're going to get that attached on in just a minute. But first, we're going to add the water. Okay. So we are going to put enough water in this to cover it and keep like an inch above it. Okay. And how long will it sit? At least 24 hours, at least overnight. And it's going to ferment it, in a day? Tomorrow. Wow. But a couple days would be better. That's Three quick. Days. Okay. So this is supposed to cut your feed bill significantly, like 50%. We're going to see how that goes, too. We could use that now that we have extra people. We keep buying more animals and making less money. I know. How does this work? Probably gonna need to add some more water. It's already soaking that up. Wow. Okay, so you wanna keep an inch of water above the food at all times until you're ready to use it. And then we'll pour the excess water off. That's a fancy stirring stick. It like has that? a unique handle to it. You like it? Do you think that's an inch? I can't even really see it now. That is probably a couple inches. Okay. It's gonna make our garage smell mess. Is it really? Yeah, it'll start smelling sour. And but that stays cold. in our garage for how long? I don't know. We're gonna just give this. You know what we need? You know, and I'm gonna be serious here. Oh, you know really? what we need? What? We need like a little shop, a little shed, or a little building that we just keep all the feed in. That actually would be nice because I have feed strung out everywhere. We'll have to look into that. Okay, so I probably should have uh, not shut that. Will Bendy eat it? Will it cut down on the amount of food we have to feed her? No. 
if that was the case, all the dog or all the cow poop and horse poop she eats would have done that. Bendy. She loves her mama. Yeah, she acted up when mama was gone. She brought you a dead mole. She brought me a dead mole. And what else did she do? No, ma'am. Tore up my pot again. Voila! Wow, I love it. Do the voila again. Voila! Oh, that didn't go all the way. Take two? Yeah. Take three, actually. Okay, Bindi. Voila! Woo! I love it. Love those PJ pants, too. These are my uh, colonoscopy prep pants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you need some Depends? That might that be better. Depends. Oh, that's <laughs> Dad's joke. What? Oh, gosh. Okay, and the good thing is I did see some videos earlier that you want to kind of leave the lid loose so the bubbling and fermentation gases can escape. So this kind of lid is going to be good because we don't have to do it all the way. So does that mean I need to keep my pants loose the rest of the day? <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't be tying that up tight. I came out here to check on the feed that I started fermenting uh, two days ago. And a little update here. I quickly after I added the water, I realized that I had too much feed in. Five scoops for this five gallon bucket was too much because it basically doubles in size. So that's Bindi and Percy going at it. Um, so I added a second bucket of the same size. So it doesn't have exact amounts. I just scooped out enough to where I thought there would be enough room for it to raise up. So let's see what it looks like inside. So we got some bubbling going on in that one. And here, looking good. I'm gonna stir it up here in a minute and then probably wait one more day to start feeding it trusty cane here that I'm stirring with. So, yeah. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to try to drain the water off, maybe scoop it off the top after it settles back down when I'm ready to use it, or if I'm just going to strain it. I have a little strainer that I bought that I'll probably still use to scoop out. Um, I need to measure it so I can see how much each pig is going to get. Denise, the pig lady, snake doctor. You can check her out on uh, fa her Facebook page. is called Snake Doctor Homestead, I believe. Um, she recommended 12 ounces, I believe, per adult pig. So we'll have to scale that back because we don't have quite adults. And then we just have our 10-week-old piglets. So we will scale their portion back. But I'm excited to try this. So I am ready to feed the pigs the fermented food. It is ready. Um, I've got this little strainer. I, I did scoop off as much of the water on top that I could um, and put it in the other bucket because I'm gonna start my next batch. But I did get this little strainer and I just scoop it into their buckets and that is about what I'm feeding the girls and the boys. Boys get a little bit less. It is about the same amount that I was feeding before. I've always put water on their pellets and kind of made like a oatmeal or whatever, just thin consistency. So I don't know that the nutritional value as far as like the amount I should give them changes a whole lot. So I'm gonna just, this is what I'm gonna start with for portion size and just keep an eye on their bodies and if they, start to get chubby then I'll cut it back a little but it's not an exact science about feeding them and I don't want them to get chubby but I also don't want them starving so we'll go from there I'm not quite sure what to do with my scooper when I'm not using it I don't want it to get all yucky and attract flies so I've just got a little bit of water here and I'll just keep the scooper right next to it hopefully we're going to put together a shed in the next week or so where we can store our feed 
so it'll be out of the garage. But I've got that bucket, and then I'm going to start another one here in a little bit. Here is the liquid, hi Bindi, the liquid from the first batch that I got off the top. It is completely fine to reuse. It has all kinds of good stuff in it. The, the fermentation process caused the bacteria, the probiotics, all the good stuff you want in it. Um, so I'm going to use it instead of starting with plain water. It will make the process go a little faster too, I believe. And then here's the pellets. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a batch. Ooh. Nice bubbles. Nice and frothy look. I did read that you want it above 60 degrees for the process. It is a little cool out still. I mean, we're getting lows in the 30s, but I'm keeping it in the garage, and it's usually around 50, 55 degrees in our garage. So I'm hoping that it won't take the full three days because I don't know how many days I'll be able to get out of that other bucket. I'm still trying to figure all that out. So once it settles, I'll be able to see the solid versus the liquid how much is on top, but I know that this is going to swell up, so I'm just going to put an amount I'm guessing at, and then I will come out and stir it later. Once it settles, I'm going to just set it over here, ignore our messy garage. I don't think I can keep a batch of fermented food for a long time. It will start to spoil, so that's where I'm trying to learn how much I'm going to go through with these two six month old pigs and then the two babies because I don't want to keep a bucket going so long that it spoils and I also want to not go through it so fast that I don't have one ready so but we're just learning as we go like everything else on Juno Acres that's what we do sometimes we learn the hard way but that's all right keeps us busy a couple times a week they're going to get sunflower seeds that helps with their coat in their skin so it's not so itchy. And I noticed the big girls have kind of got some flakes on their back. It's dry here. Bindi, you're not getting pig food. Hi, Toby. Oh, you while you eat? Come here. Keith doesn't mind. We're still working on Toby. Come on, Toby. I like to scratch a pig and hold a pig. See? Okay, looks like they like it. 